Hi guys, down at Porter's Head, out for a little walk with my grandson. Camera around. So we're down here on the beach. We just had a cup of coffee from the cafe up there. And my grandson wants to see if he can walk round <laughs> round the rocks to the end of the headland. Which will be alright as long as we can avoid the mud. Where it's dried out, it's all right to walk on. Right, we might be able to get around there and avoid this bit of mud. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Once we're around there, then we're above the mud level. Right, that's a bit muddy just there, but we can go round. easy enough. Well, he's gone. I love the sound of the boat going out there. Nice bit of audio. I gotta climb up there now. Right, we made it. Can hear Nanny telling him off because he's too hot and we told him to leave his jacket in the car. Lovely and peaceful at the moment. That's Wales over the other side of the water there. So he's got a bigger lens than I have. I believe these concrete areas. are the gun emplacements from the Second World War defences. And down there is the swimming pool and the cafe where we just had our cup of coffee and over there is the marine lake, boating lake yeah not marine lake here marine lakes at Clevedon boating lake that's where I put the boat, the sailing boat on the water sometimes there is a club that meets there regularly Try a slightly closer view. Alright, I have filmed here before. There is a way down there. There's a concrete um, area there. And you can, might be able to see there's people fishing down there. I just want to see if I can get a shot of that boat over there on my other camera. Right, we've made it down here onto the little concrete platform so we can do a little bit of a panorama around. So we've got the fisherman. And that's where we just came down. Right, we've now walked along the headland into the wooded area. I 
think Nanny will be worn out by now. Going that way, are we? Good shape on that tree. Tree trunk. Alright, he's trying to walk up there. I wonder if I can get up here without slipping down. There is obviously a way out just there, but... Yeah, this is what I thought. There's no f no footpath on the road. We were a bit worried about him going up there on his own. And this... I don't know if it still is, but always was... a toll road. You actually have to pay to go along it. Just in case you've lost your bearings, down through the trees there is the edge of the headland, the cliff, and you're down to the, I would say the sea, but it's not the sea, it's the River Severn. We're walking back along here. East Wooden Battery Point Local Nature Reserve. A nice helpful bit of graffiti over it. Well done. Now we were down there just now at one point. You can't see too much reflection. Anyway, we're back here now. We made it back down again. Now we're going back. And Nanny's waiting for us over there. Filming us. Okay, let's see how we get on. Grandson's a long way ahead of me, because I keep stopping to film.
it's dry enough here. So there you go, that was the beach at Porter's Head and the headland. Let's go see what they got first in the wind. Thank you, <laughs> Nanny. We needed that detail. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.